uh, we are going to play in the swim to 10 game from right start math a level B and maybe it may have been introduced in level A I do not know but we started with level B so that's that's where we learned it and this is the way we play at home with um, with my son uh, at our home school hi I'm going to explain to you the game that we played the last class of our math games class it's called the swim to ten game and um, it's it's very simple to play uh, all you need is each player chooses two rows this is the handout that we distributed each player chooses two rows and the objective is to get to ten first we use two tokens in any two rows that the play the child wants and then each time you draw a card the cards that we distributed at class just draw a card for instance you get a one so you get to choose to move one of your tokens one space and so on if you land in an X then you must come back and start over and you have to land in 10 with an exact count and the first player who gets the two tokens over to 10 with an exact count is a player who wins if for instance let's say that you're over here you must get a 2 if you do not get a 2 let's say you get a 4 then what you do is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then you're parked there again until you get the exact count this actually is a variation that we did the rules in the math in the right start math game book, math, math games from right start in the book they do not say that so pretty much the child was just sitting there waiting until you, they get the exact count and it was a little bit boring that way so we just did that variation and it went on more smoothly that way and also in the rules it say that the player must the player I mean the, the token that gets touched must be moved so just make sure the kid the child knows that so also if you can notice here uh, the format of the of the of the board of, has exactly the same format as the abacus five light beads and five dark beads so they do not they know exactly at all times their positions and they do not need to count in order to learn uh, what they will be required to to draw in order to get to 10 first just by looking at the beads, at the spaces, you know where you're at so that's it play with your children or the child can play with their siblings and hope you have fun thank you for watching